Hi everyone, welcome to a new video from Not Real Engineering. In past few months, after I uploaded first Napier tutorial video, I received many requests asking me to make a video about how to install software Napier, and that's why I'm making this video. So as you can see, installing software Napier is a very tedious process. So I'm going to divide this video in three parts. Otherwise, it will be very long video. So in part one, which is this part, we are going to install Ubuntu app on Windows. Then in second part, we will see how to install software Gmesh. which is necessary to mesh any microstructure in napier and in part 3 we will see how to install actually software napier and if you want to install napier or gmesh on your linux operating system you don't have to do the first part you can directly start with part 2 and part 3 now let's begin with part 1 how to install ubuntu app in windows while time of the recording the latest version of ubuntu app is this one ubuntu app provides you the only ubuntu terminal so you will not have the gui of ubuntu on windows but you will have only ubuntu terminal and our software gmesh and napier they need only terminal so that's perfectly fine with us but if you need gui there are some other ways you can install virtual machine or something but we will not see that in this video these are some minimum requirements to install this app if you have very old computer and you did not update your windows in a long time then maybe it's better to just look at it once otherwise directly go to step 2 In step 2 what we have to do is first we have to start windows powershell to start windows powershell you can just go to search and type powershell now the only thing is you have to run it as administrator so you can either click over here or just right click on this and say run as administrator and once you open this then copy paste this first line say enter you will see operation completed successfully then copy paste this second line and again say enter once these two lines are done then you have to restart the computer so i will restart my computer now now i have restarted my computer next step is go to microsoft store for that also go to search and you can type microsoft store here go to this microsoft store and over here in search type ubuntu you can see the first thing is ubuntu app click on that and it is free of course and say get you can sign in or you cannot as well depends on you and then it will start downloading ubuntu it might take couple of minutes a few moments later now it is installing and it's done now you can say launch and when you launch it for first time it will take couple of minutes of course then it will ask you to enter new username now this username it's better if you enter exactly same username as your windows username so i will enter my username over here and then it will ask you to create a password you can create any password again retype it and it's done if you type dir over here you will see there is no directories or nothing in order to access your native hard disk from windows what you have to do is you have to mount that hard drive for that you just have to type cd space slash mnt and slash c if you do that now that c drive is mounted and then you can access everything from your local computer that's it for this video in next video we will see how to install gmesh and the video after that we will see how to install napier if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together for example let's say if you are interested in ansys tutorials you can go to this ansys tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist all the codes and files which i use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's github profile the link of this profile is given in the description box below If you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching